Okay, for example, for lighting, we choose 0 0.8. Okay, 0 0.8, aircon 0 0.5. Just estimate um, uh, the usage of your of every day in your life lifestyle. And then the water heating 0 0.3, ceiling fan 0 0.8, refrigerator always on. So one leaf 0 0.5, booster pump that we need uh, is around 0 0.5. Okay, so we look at the these examples. So example, an apartment consists of, okay, we have fluorescent lamps with 40, 40 watt, ceiling fans with 60 watt, 13 amps socket outlets with 250 watt, one numbers of water heater with 3000 watt, one numbers of one horsepower air conditioner. So from here, uh, the question is determine A, the total maximum demand, B, the maximum demand, C, the maximum current, D, the size of the MCB, E, size of the RCD, and F is the electrical wiring schematic diagram. Okay, how to solve this uh, problem? So this is the this is the um, the electric the um, the architect layout plan. Okay, so normally the layout plan of the house. Okay, you can see here there are three bedrooms. Okay. Three bedrooms here. We have the toilet here, and then we have the living, uh, dining, the living room here. Okay, um, and then we have the kitchen here, right here. So you have to count first how many light points there. Okay, how many uh, ceiling fans? So if we look at here, the fluorescent lamps. Okay, the lighting point is one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve light points. Okay. So we have twelve light points. And then how many ceiling fan? One, two, one, two, three, four. So we have four. Okay, so we have four ceiling fans. Okay, how about the SSO, okay, so you have to look here, one, two, right, one, two, three, three, four, five, five, um, five, six, and then six, okay, so we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we have ten SSO. Okay, so we have ten SSO. Okay, and then one number of water heater and one of uh, uh, air conditioner. So from there, you have to come up with the uh, load calculation. Okay, first, you have to come up with the load calculation. This one is the load calculation. So load calculation is very important in order you to design the electrical system. So you just put here, so the in, in this table, uh, you can do it in the table form to be more... Um, easy to you to uh, monitor, okay, to calculate the total maximum demand. So first, uh, you have to write down the numbers, description, quantity, estimated power, the total connected load, okay. Um, so you have to calculate the total connected load or TCL. TCL is the quantity, okay, the quantity you multiply with the estimated power, okay, for the lighting. So 12 times 40, you get 480 watt. And then this is demand factor. Demand factor, as I mentioned before, is based on the assumption. Um, so for the lighting, we assume that we use 80%, which is 0 
then you can calculate the maximum demand for the lighting is TCL. Okay, so this one is uh, TCL you times with the demand factor. Okay, to get the TCL, okay, you have to calculate quantity you times with the power. Okay, then you proceed with the ceiling fans. Uh, four ceiling fans, you times the 60, you got 240 times 0 0.8, you, you get 192. Then you um, continue with the others, okay? And then aircon, eh? aircon is one horsepower. So one horsepower equivalent, we assume that 750 watt. That's why we times one times two, 750. So you got 750 watt. So if this one is 1.5, then you can you have to times 1.5 times 750. Then you calculate you times the 0.5, you get the maximum demand. So the total maximum demand is the summation of the all the maximum demand for the electrical appliances. Okay, so this one all you sum up you get the total maximum demand. Okay, and then you have to find the maximum demand for this house is MD equivalent to TMD you times with the coincident factor. So this coincident factor, you have to refer the uh, book from TNB ESA. Okay, ESA. You know what ESA, right? Uh, electricity supply application handbook TNB. So, if you look at the TNB ESA for the residential, we use uh, TNB use zero point nine. So in our calculation, you have to use zero point nine. You got maximum demand for this house is around two thousand seven hundred ninety. So, uh, near to three kilowatt. Uh, so this one is the detail of detail of the calculation. So how to calculate the TMD total maximum demand, and then how to calculate the maximum demand. Then you have to calculate what is the maximum current. So maximum current is by using because this one is the single phase. We just use the equation P equals to I V cos theta and I equals to P over V cos theta okay use this question then you can get the maximum current from this uh, maximum current we can determine what is the current rating of the uh, mcb that we want to use okay so by using this equation uh, okay 1.25 with times with the maximum current then you can get 17.85 so approximately we can use 32 amps mcb single phase okay and then uh, for the rcd as i mentioned before the rcd must equivalent uh, or larger than the mcb okay so you have you can choose directly choose 32 to 32 amps also for the rcd or rccb okay so and then you have to divide by two. Uh, we have here 30 milliamps for the power circuit, the sensitivity, and then for the lighting circuit, we use 100 milliamps. Eh? And then you also have to consider, for example, for the uh, for the uh, water heater, you use uh, not this. Okay, and then this is the electrical. Then we can see the electrical wiring schematic diagram okay uh, for the electrical wiring schematic diagram so what we have here uh, is we starting from the tnb meter okay this one is the tnb meter then we go to the mcb uh, single phase 32 amps this is based on our calculation okay and then um, as i mentioned before for the main circuit we use 16 uh, square millimeters for the for the cable 
And then uh, we have to separate the lighting uh, circuit and the power circuit. Okay, so it depends on the company, the consultant company. Some of the company prefer to combine and some of the company prefer to the to separate. Uh, so separate, I choose to use the separate because it is easy to to do the maintenance for the for the system. So actually, this is the DB, the distribution board. Okay, the distribution board of your house. Okay, so this is called DB or the distribution board from the incoming, which is the TNB meter, coming into your DBs and to the loads. Okay, so for the lighting, uh, lighting circuit. Then after uh, connect with the MCB. We connect first with the RCD or the RCCB. So RCD and RCCB or RCCB, the color rating is equivalent to the MCB or much, uh, much more bigger than the, uh, the MCB. So, but for here, for this uh, solution, I just choose the same as the MCB. But the difference between the lighting and also the power is the sensitivity this one the sensitivity so the sensitivity for the lighting is 100 milliamps and the sensitivity for the uh, for the power circuit is 30 milliamps so for the power circuit must choose more sensitive because this load is near to the human being okay for the lighting okay so as we can see here for one mcb we can connect uh, approximately until 10 electrical appliances okay that is the limitation so you can you can calculate what is the rating that can be used for these types of mcb okay so uh basically for this um question so you use for the first uh circuit we use six numbers of lighting point plus one numbers of ceiling fan the second one is four numbers of lighting point plus two numbers of ceiling fan equivalent to uh, equivalent to six electrical appliances. Then we have two numbers of lighting point plus one number of ceiling fan, and then I uh, we can add more for the spare. Okay, in case in the future we need uh, to connect more the electrical appliances, then we can use the spare, the spare one. Okay, so the sizing for the conductor we choose one point five square millimeter okay and then for the power so for the this one for the lighting point normally we consider lighting and also fan okay and the power side we will uh, we consider 13 amps sso okay and then water heater and then air conditioner okay so for the uh, for this one, for the power side, we have to consider uh, maximum three numbers of 13 amp SSO uh, for one MCB. Okay, so for example, here I choose two, 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 and then here is also two. It depends on you, lah. For example, if you want to use uh, here is three, and then three, and then uh, two. And then uh, two, so it depends on your design, but you have to consider economically viable, okay? Uh, and then you uh, you connect again, okay? you connect the water heater. So the water heater is very crucial. So you have to put additional RC, CB or RCD here. So the sensitivity for the water heater is 10 milliamps, more sensitive because it is near to the human being. Then you can connect with the aircon, okay? And then two spares. So this is all the electrical wiring schematic diagram. Okay, so uh, this is the flow chart for wiring installation and building, okay? Uh, when you have, you get the project from your boss, this um you have to do uh, the site visit there are two types of meetings that you have to attend the first one is the client coordination meeting and the second one is the technical coordination meeting so normally for the client coordination meeting you have to meet with your client and then the client will tell you 
what they want, what they require for this project. Okay, and after that, you will do the work. Then every uh, depends on the, uh, the the management either to do the technical coordination meeting maybe once a week or fortnightly. It depends on the on the decision of the top management. Okay, and then after you get uh, you go for the site visit. You see, uh, you see the uh, site for the project plan. Then you have to deal with the architect. Architect will give you the uh, architecture layout plan, and then you have to look on that uh, particular plan, and you have to specify what is the equipment that you need. Uh, you need for this project okay from there you have to calculate the maximum demand as i mentioned before you have to calculate the maximum demand you have to you have to identify what is demand factor you have to calculate the total connected load you have to identify what is the maximum current and so on in order for you to identify what types of uh, system that you want to use Example, either you want to use the single phase or three phase. And then also you, you also have to identify what types of distribution substation that you need. Either you need to use the single or double chambers. Eh? Okay, uh, one transformer or two transformers. It also depends on the, calculate, the load calculation that you have done. Okay, and then um, after that, uh, you also have to, as an engineer, you have you also have to submit um, uh, some of forms, okay, some of documents or forms to the authority for approval. Okay, so the authorities uh, in your project normally is uh, Tenaga National Berhad, TND. That one is more the electricity parts, and then we have the city council. Yeah, the city council is more on the uh, street light, street lighting, and so on, and also the Malaysian Communications and Multimedia (MCMC). That one is uh, for the telecommunications. But for the wiring installation, you are being, uh, you must focus more on the Tenaga National Berhad, uh, which is for the electricity part. Okay, so you have to submit uh, three documents which are the kebenaran merancang okay uh, and then planning permission kebenaran merancang pembangunan and then you have the uh, perancangan bangunan that one is the building plan okay after you have got all the approval from the uh, from the authority then you can start with the work execution Okay, work execution you have you can start with that work execution and then uh, you also have to do the inspection and testing of the work and then after that you have to submit the completion uh, you have to report to the authority you have to sign the contract and also depositing the fees for the TNB which is the charge sambungan pengguna CSP and then when uh, after that when the TMB receive the fees from from you, then you can the authority, which is the TMB, will install the TMB meters and also will provide the electricity for you. So that's all for chapter two. Uh, inshallah, we will continue with chapter three. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.